Art. Hi guys, I'm Myung Eun from Busan. Today we're going to introduce Gumjeonggu and Bamosa to you. Gumjeonggu is located in the northern part of Busan. Historically, it is located in Dongmyeon, which means northern part of Dongnaegun, the old name of Busan. And its name comes from the Gumjeongsan mountain, which we are right now standing on. There were uh, 10 famous tourist attractions in Gumjeonggu. Uh, and uh, one of the tourist attraction is Bamosa Temple, which we are right now at. And there are also Hwedongsuwon, Songdong Miro Market, and Gumjongsa Mountain Castle, and Mountain Fortress Village. Among them, we are going to visit Bamosa Temple, one of the centers of Korean Buddhist community, and the three major temples in Namdo. Namdo is southern part of Korea. Do you know where the word Gumjong Chan and Pomosa came from? No, I don't. <laughs> well, according to an old story of Busan, there was a famous mountain in Korea, here in uh, Busan. And in this mountain, there was a sp uh, spring in the middle of a huge rock, mm. uh, which was always filled with golden water. And inside it, there was golden fish which swam down from the sky and uh, swam inside the lake pond. So, this mountain was called Gumjong San, and Gumjong means uh, well filled with golden water. Oh, ah, that's like gold, right? Yeah, gum oh, yeah. means gold. And this temple was called Pomosa because Pomo means a fish that came from the heaven of Buddh Buddhism. Okay. So, uh, that, uh, that is the origin of the name. And before we go into the temple, I want to introduce you a uh, Korean treasure. Do you know that, uh, did you know that there is like treasure in Pomosa Temple? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, the treasure is Samgung uh, Yusa. Can you, if you see the left side of where we are standing at, you can find the museum where Samgung Yusa is located in. Ah. This book has, uh, this book contains the desire to regain the pride of Koreans through the old stories and history of Korea. Mm -hmm. After uh, this book was made after the invasion of Mongol Empire, so it has the meaning of consoling Korean people. In particular, this book has many stories of ancient countries such as Gojoseon, one of uh, the very first country built in Korea. Also, this book includes stories of the three periods of the three kingdoms and Kaya and other many countries. Do you like old stories or myths or legends? Yeah, I like them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah then you should definitely go visit Songbo Gangmulgang of Pomosa and see the Songbong Yuza. Oh. That's because the history, not only, because, not only of the history of Three Kingdoms, there were many interesting legends or stories uh, in, uh, written on the Songbong Yuza. The stories of Kim Yujin or Jumong or Park Hyokbote, where which many people know, are all in here. So shall we go further inside to the temple? Like now, yes. yeah, so, so, so yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. that 
uh, each of the cards are holding different things. Oh yeah, like this is like, uh, I don't know the name in, in English, yeah, but yeah, they, they are different. You can distinguish the four kings or four divas by their different face, but also they are holding different stuff. Okay. Uh, the objects are different between regions and between eras, so you should be care you should carefully read the name or signs and find out who each of the four heavenly kings are. Okay. So let's look at the left first. First, uh, the figure holding a dragon in one hand and the yoiju, the to say the treasure of dragon, is the god protecting the west. So you can see Ah, oh, so yeah. he is protecting the west. Oh. And, um, the god standing on the left side of him and holding a tower on his left hand, right? Oh, oh yes. And he is the god of the north. So you can see where is north. And if you turn to the right side, you can find him. Like you do like a guitar, right? Like it looks like. Yeah, a guitar, but it's called guitar. And a Chinese traditional instrument. Oh, okay. It's not actually Korean. So he's protecting the east side. So you can see the word. Oh, don't move. Yeah. And the right side of him is standing a person, a god who is having a sword in his hand. Mm. He is the last god who is protecting the south southern part. So let's go yeah. outside. <laughs> First. You can stay a little longer for one night and you can enjoy some meditation oriented programs. Also, you can feel the aesthetics of slowness in the Pomosa temple with nature surrounding you. Mm, Wouldn't wow. it be great? Yeah. yeah. If you can, you can <laughs> yeah. apply for the program using the our homepage, website of Pomosa. Mm. So, if you apply it be before you come to this place, you can spend, more, uh, spend time more meaningfully. Mm, that's great. So let's go inside. Everyone should take pictures in front of here. No. Okay. Hi. I think the camera is better. Like, oh, really? Yeah. All this then. One more. Yeah, that's the Meaning to have like, uh, like one, two, three gates. I heard that that each of the gates has a special meaning. Mm. So it has like Buddhist meaning, and if you pass this, you are like doing something. And this gateway is to like for ah, uh, it's for something. Mm. So 
if you're interested in that, you can find more information in internet or you can There's search like for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are so many books related to the, uh, Buddhism. Ambassador Yi Tang in 675 years. Oh wow! Pretty old, like. And it was built during the Unified Silla period. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an interesting story about the founding of this temple. It is said that the temple was built to honor uh, the Yi Tang's contribution for the country because he defeated the Japanese soldiers by mm. reciting some kind of Buddhist scriptures here in Kumjongsang Mountain for seven days. Oh. So he read this, he recited the scriptures so the Japanese soldiers were defeated. Wow. Oh. So, but the temp unfortunately, this temple was not properly recorded during Goryeo Dynasty. Mm -hmm. And it was burnt down during the Japanese invasion of Korea during Joseon Dynasty. So yeah. it was rebuilt. So, have you ever uh, watched the movie Kwangye? No. Uh, <laughs> like no. this temple was reconstructed during the period of Kwangye Bun, the very king who appeared in the movie Kwangye. Oh. He's the main character. Oh. So if you have some time, you can watch the movie and can remember this place. Okay. Is it on Netflix? Uh, I think Maybe. so. Okay. <laughs> I will watch. Uh, before we enter, uh, we go up to the Dom. I want to introduce the top two. Mm. 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 or high priest tari mm. inside it. Tari is like if you perform or if you study Buddhism for a long time, you have some kind of special <laughs> thing inside your body. So after you die, you... Wait, yeah, it's bad bad. Bad. from stupa in India or South East Asia. Yeah. It's quite different. I think that stupa looks like more like pyramid. Yeah. But this one looks totally different from it, right? Yeah, it looks different. Yeah. The Hamcheng Stupa follows the typical style of Shinla Stone Pagoda because it was built during Shinla Dynasty. Yeah. So, oh. Uh, Does it have a meaning like what they are three? Oh, uh, the. I don't think, but the like, there's like name, okay. Kidan, Tan, but I don't actually know the meaning of yeah, each yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, because it looks different. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's mostly great. like pagodas or made in three, th three stories or five stories. Mm. But they're like. Uh, 
うですよ。ね、ラブ。Application. Oh. In Korean, you can search Tim Tua.
horses, you can get a prize through a lottery. Hmm. I think it would be good to try out if you are planning to travel to Kumjongu during me. Okay. Let's go to that place. There are many there are many people who are working who are organizing stuff that are used for the event that happened in May 19th. Oh yeah. The first day of Buddha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the day when Buddha came to well like it was a few days ago, before yeah, the first day. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Yeah. This is very beautiful. Yeah. Uh, here is Jijangjang. Jijangjang. And another name of Jijangjang is Shiwangjang. Shiwang are the gods who judge the death in the underworld. If you watch the movie Along with the Gods, you can picture the image more easily. Have you ever watched Along with the Gods? No. no. It's a Korean movie and I recommend it. It's quite interesting. Mm. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I just uploaded uh, it. Oh, you downloaded it? Yeah. Yeah, if you go to the Hall, if you pass it, <laughs> then there will be an alarm. So you can get a step. Oh! Oh wow! <laughs> because our phone has GPS system. The oh, can I try it later? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Jijangjang is where Jijang Dukai is interned in. Jijang Dukai is a goddess top guy who was given the role for saving poor people in the underworld. Originally, this building was called Myeongbujang and had it north, which symbolizes the underworld in Korean South really. Mm. However, while rebuilding this building after the Japanese invasion of Korea in 1992, this building was relocated to this place and got a new name. Mm. Then let's move to Haesang, Gukseong, Nahanjang. It is quite a difficult name, Korean name. Yeah. Haesang, Gukseong, Nahanjang. It is a difficult to translate. you the real region. Uh, this place is unique as it has three sanctum in one building. In other temples, Haesangjum, Doksangjum, and Nahanjum, it just is a respective temple building, while here in Bomasa, they are joined in width. In Haesangjum, the painting that shows Buddha's life in Eight scenes is in Shirin, and Nahanja is where you can meet the 16 disciples of Buddha. Oh, I think that they are right. Yeah, that's right. We can go up the road. Oh, yeah, we can go to uh, upstairs. We are gonna tell you about the story here because there are people. So after that, we will go around this place. Okay, okay. The structure of Puksangdam is different from other two sentences. Can you tell the difference is? What is the difference is? The colors? No. For the flowers? 
is art sheets and like other juice Also, the floral doors with beautiful plum flower is also one of the interesting features of Tuxang. Plum flower has more important meaning and confusion things up than Buddhism. Mm. It blossoms in the cold and inform people that spring mm. is coming and mm. as it blooms mm. in the cold weather, it shows look like classical scholar who doesn't uh, succumb to hardship. Mm. So it was beloved by Korean scholars, Korean traditional scholars like chosen by Nasty as one of the four gracious plants. Plum flower known for having five virtues, delight, happiness, longevity, following the flow, and consistency. It's also considered to have special power to drive out all the devil fruits. Oh. Drawing the flower that has such power at the entrance can be considered a way of showing how much people value this place. Mm. Then let's go to a place. Although they are located near each other in Asia, and the same being the development of Buddhism of three countries are all different from each other. Especially, Korea's Buddhist is unique as it was combined with folk religion in Korea, the traditional Korean folk religion, while being spread to the people. Mm -hmm. That is why there are buildings dedicated for the locker mountain spirit in the temple like this. <laughs> yeah, this is Hanyangak in Tomosa, and this place is uh, this place. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. such characteristic of Korean Buddhism. Inside here is a painting of the mountain spear. Can you see that? Yeah. That's, that's right. But 
it will make you feel some fire. Yeah, actually, like, it looks like a very, like, specific place and, like, not much more. Yeah, and this is, like, um, that's why this place you can find inner peace. Yeah, <laughs> like, the right moment you go inside, it feels like. Yeah, yeah. you can concentrate on your own. Yeah, like, no stress, nothing. Yeah, no stress. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a good place to yeah. walk the sun. So let's go down through here yeah. because there are people organizing things. that the spirit of the mountain is protecting the Buddhists and people people visiting Pomasa mm -hmm. and until now we've looked at Taeyongjan Hall, the center of Pomasa Temple and other buildings including Taesang, Doksang, Nahanjan, Jijangjan and Kanangjan especially Taesang, Doksang, Nahanjan is a unique building which can only be found in here Thomas. oh so it's just here no, no other place in Korea? yeah not other places not other temples it's very unique because as told before uh, in other temples all three sanctums are divided into each building but oh. this is the only place where all three sanctums are combined and are placed in one building oh. all together oh. wow now let's go back to the entrance through Homosa Hizam Hill, listed as one of the most beautiful roads of Korea. Tile, stone walls, and bamboo trees 
So I recommend you, and also there are many pretty cafes around there, so you can have a good time in each. Mm, thank you. <laughs> If you walk along the Kungjong Sansang hiking trail, you can also feel the old story of the fortress. There are various experiences. Waiting for you at <laughs> Kunjang Sansang, so it would be good to check it out yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There are I many things it. you can experience, such as you can make your own makoli. There are some places oh, that really? you can make makoli by yourself. Oh wow! It's May and it is the season of the rose, and we can see here. Oh. This is beautiful place to close the tour. Yeah, so this was our Gumjong Gumjonggu tour focused on Tomosa Temple, which is full of Korea's traditional beauty in nature. Thank you, all of you guys. Bye. Bye.